गुड मॉर्निंग टू दिस शंकर एंड देर हैव बीन बहुत सारे डेवलपमेंट्स हुए हैं इन महाराष्ट्र तो लॉ पीपल आर वेरी कीन कि भाई वॉट गुना हैपन इन महाराष्ट्र एंड स्पेशली आई वॉज लुकिंग हॉरस्कोप ऑफ अजीत पवार ही इज बीन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सन who has been hogging the media headlights headlines and uh, a lot of things are expected out of his uh, you know changing uh, or making moves i'm not into politics neither i'm interested in politics i'm just analyzing the horoscope of ajit pawar i don't even know what is going to be the ramifications so with my limited knowledge i analyze his horoscope and uh, we do not have the time of these people of most of the people and rightfully it is their privilege but uh, we have the date 22nd july 1959 at deolali maharashtra looking at that and my principles of brigunadi system i mean i am here to not trying to analyze a person what he would become what he is not i know what 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 he is there or is the level because every every person born at one time one is a billionaire and one is a uh, one is begging but it's the energy which is there in each planet at that point at point of time not at that point of point uh, point of time the energy which is there in each planet because of the karmas which are going to fructify is most important uh, which makes a person what he is even though he is born at the same time at the same place perhaps in the same hospital So it's, it's that energy, and that is one thing which uh, needs a lot of analysis and work. Coming back to horoscope of uh, Mr. Pawar, I see it's a good horoscope I mean, because he has been done very well in life. He has got Mars and Venus in twelfth house, a very good combination for wealth. It's a very good combination for controlling people. Uh, he's got Jupiter in the second house, which is again an excellent uh, combination for you know having a very balanced. Uh, giving getting divine grace and uh, uh, getting a divine grace getting divine protection and also in terms of uh, issues like family wealth children it it gives you it, it gives you everything and it more or less gives you that protection which is that is very important saturn in the fourth house is not very good so not a very good horoscope perhaps for his uh, mother and also for his uh, domestic peace um, because uh, i mean and these people travel a lot so it's not good for fourth house matters that is the family matters it's not a very good horoscope things are not very good sun and mercury in the 11th house are very good it actually makes him a martial personality where he can actually you know put his away across put his force across rahu in lagna is very important because anybody who has rahu in lagna has got the power of not getting intimidated in fact you can intimidate people and they are like elephants i mean you know it's the whole personality is like an elephant they walk like elephants the whole persona of the elephant uh, which you know we we focus is there so that is a good thing to have but it has its own uh, issues rahu being there i mean is good for certain non life things but may not be very good for life things K2 in seventh house is partnerships, which is not a very good thing in his horoscope. Now coming to his uh, present uh, present time, um, I feel he is not going through a good period, where um, uh, where uh, Jupiter is in uh, we all know is in Aries and um, Saturn uh, is in Aquarius. Aquarius has the energy of Rahu and Saturn in it. and when the energies of rahu and saturn are there with saturn there uh, it it creates changes it creates problems it creates um issues at the back end it 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 uh, gives the kind of fear it it is all about plotting scheming of people um being in the 6th house uh, it disturbs the day to day of working it also disturbs the people who had been with you on a day to day basis they actually you know do not support you uh, there is a problem there i mean it's all about it's all about uh, plotting and scheming and negativity of people around you and you know disturbing your day to day working uh, ketu in front of it shows that there would be a division further division 
a greater division and uh, also cutting of things uh, would be there. There will be cutting of things, there will be further divisions. And uh, Mars there shows that, you know, I mean, uh, he would uh, he would just, you know, get away from people whom he doesn't like, you know. He will just turn his face and turn his back and walk. I, mean, I don't, I, I do not care kind of a things. Saturn and Venus, uh, where there's a combination which takes place, which will um, keep him afloat. I mean, which will, which will, uh, which will uh, give him a kind of thing where his respect is uh, maintained, his dignity is maintained to some extent. But uh, I do not foresee a great period. Um, in fact, uh, things would become. Uh, Things would be in a way where he'll be able to handle things till about April 2025. But after April 2025, uh, things will not be good and there would be serious issues in terms of breaking, division, issues, you know. I and mean, he, would, he would at point of time think of, oh, let, 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 uh, let me take a foot back, anything and everything will happen after. April 2025 till April 2025, they will be scheming, plotting, designing people, uh, tensions, uh, people with him or at the back of him or his friends would do all that. Um, a lady would uh, perhaps uh, play a very important role uh, in, uh, in, you know, in, in, in advising him uh, um, in terms of a lady doesn't mean uh, a lady could be a mother, a lady could be a colleague, you know, a, a woman, a person, the fairest sex will play a role, but it will be good, but it will only be able to sustain himself till the end of uh, 2024, February 2025. After that, it is uh, not a good period, even the tensions, etc. will culminate, you know, one takes decisions. Uh, one uh, takes the tensions, one uh, goes ahead to fight, but to win. So that win I don't see in 2025. It would be kind of January 2025, it would be a kind of a come down for him, is my view. This is my astrological view in, uh, with the limited knowledge I have. And thanks, bye for now.